Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome to the Yog, and I'm not here alone. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hello. This is Jeff and Katie. They've been wanting to do a recording of something for a while, and we found a good game to do it with. The Yog. Yay. So let's head in. All right, guys. So you choose first. Who do you want to be? Um, I want to be Magic Cat Ears Hat Blue Lady. Magic Cat Ears Hat Blue Lady, yes. <laughs> Mr. Jeff. Suave with the cravat. Mr. Suave with the cravat. And I'm going to go completely against type, Big Hairy Man. <laughs> oh, completely against type. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh-huh, obviously. <laughs> the Yog will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. So it looks like Blue Cat Ear Lady is first. Blue Magic Cat... Cat ears late. Now I don't even remember her name. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> let's go to the palace. Let's start it off on a good note. Administrative worker ball. Oh, um, oh gosh. How about, how about attending a ball? Since the disaster is going to come anyway, right? Let's, uh, let's, let's have some fun. <laughs> Party it up. Oh, look at that. You spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Drinking some weird green stuff. I like how all you did to attend a ball was add a couple of white stripes to your cat ears. And, and like, a bed put, like a bedsheet as a cake. Bed sheet. Yeah, bed <laughs> and sheet that's cake. all you need. I th- I don't, oh, I think no, you added cufflinks. You added cufflinks, yeah. It's a right. tour. <laughs> you gain two charm and Well, I mean, she's ahead. she is dressed way better than the ghosts that are apparently <laughs> also at the ball in the background. There. She also looks quite a bit drunk. What is in that green stuff? Oh, you is it jello me. shots? <laughs> it kind of looks like jello shots. Uh, one day, ooh, the king approaches you. He's digging oh, no. the cat ears. He's digging the oh, cat no. ears. So uh, Jeff and I have both played this game before. Katie, you're in for fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in, he says. Oh. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> aren't exactly active in the bedroom. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. It is. It's a very <laughs> personal problem. <laughs> he plushes a little. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak? I mean, if you're... <laughs> well... Oh, what are my options? Okay, teach the king your ways or admit that you don't know how to help. Oh, my gosh. Well, well Katie... I mean, I don't know, because of the stats that I have, probably nothing, because this, this is like the very first round, right? Well, yep. I'm going to do my very best to teach the poor king how to make a little prince, and it's probably going to go horribly wrong. Do you even have, like, uh, we don't even know what type of world this is. Have you taken sex ed? I don't know. You know, yeah, we don't know sort of the educational system <laughs> of this kingdom. It's really important, and we need to really sit down and have a meeting and really talk about it. Well, and right? also, what is what is his issue that he's like oh hey random person at the party guess yeah, what what Here's made my you so trustworthy problems. <laughs> having trouble in bed you spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios with the king lots of powerpoints role play Absolutely. yes powerpoints everywhere powerpoints for sure um okay at the end of it he is just as charming as you are i don't know if which is to say much. Not much. <laughs> shut up <laughs> He thanks you and hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. Aw, yeah. Three well. <laughs> Congratulations. You basically just uh, played... I can't think of the word without making it very, very insulting. So basically, you just played pimp. Oh, yeah. Yay. I did. I pimped the king out to the queen. <laughs> Which is weird because you would think you couldn't do that to a married couple, but here you are. There we are. Later that night, you get the sinking feeling that you might have actually made things worse. Yeah, well, you know, but I'm richer, so what we'll see. What ifs? You got a lot of money. <laughs> All right, so big hairy dude. Okay. I'm going to do what big hairy dudes do and go in the forest and chop wood. <laughs> you spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day, you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in the field. Okay. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Is the dryad like a druid? No, they're, they're like a spirit, a forest spirit. 
but they're what? usually females in very, very few bits of clothing. They're like tree ladies. Like the tree things in Lord of the Rings that walk around? No. Except as a hot chick. Yeah. Oh, okay. they're 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 more like pretty ladies who are kind of like stuck with one tree that's like their tree. Okay. Yeah. Depending okay. on the mythos. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, would you care to dance? She asks. Oh, God, no. Why? Why? <laughs> I've been wanting to dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with. She sighs. Please, no. Come on, Lamar, you gotta no. dance with her. No, I don't dance. <laughs> okay. Well, you're no fun, she replies. She turns into a flurry of leaves and flies away. <laughs> that That's what all women do when they <laughs> when, meet me, Whenever you try to talk to them, yes. <laughs> that was a beautiful encounter. <laughs> you feel enlightened just witnessing it. I gained one mind. Well, I guess they had to give you something for that. Mm-hmm. All right, oh, let's, Jeff. let's go to the gardens. And let's landscape. You spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself Ooh. one wealth. You even made a beautiful swan thing. You gain physique from that? One day, on your way home from the park, you come across a golden ring in the grass. Oh. I would like to sell the ring. You manage to sell the ring for a respectable sum. Gain too well. Oh. They well. say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. That was so very long ago. Yeah, it was long enough ago. We don't have to worry about it, right? Uh, mm -hmm. All you. We can just keep partying. Um, I think I'll go... How about to the Alchemy Tower? And let's brew some potions. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, all the alchemists decide to take a break from work and instead throw a cantrip party. That's basically really, really low-level magic. Like level zero magic. <laughs> like Hogwarts yeah. magic? No, like, like... like Hogwarts first year magic. Okay, okay. One alchemist waves her hand and produces confetti in front of him. His. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a girl. Okay. It, it could be either. I mean, yeah, let's be honest, magic's involved. <laughs> Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Then all the alchemists turn to you to see what you can come up with. Uh, well, if that thing you're holding in your hand is any indication, I would say rum. Rum, yes. Alcoholic <laughs> beverages. And I can, um, you know, I can put stripes on my little cat ears. That's about it. Um, let's do a simple trick. By snapping your fingers, you change your eyebrow <laughs> color. Aw, oh, yeah. Yep, it's good at all the parties. It's a good party trick. Not bad, one of the alchemists say. You gain one magic. Okay. I'm happy with that. All right. I think I will do what big burly men do, and go to the arena and compete and fight. Spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. Gain two physique and one finesse. I also am holding that axe very straight. Your axe looks way too small for you. Yeah, it really does. I'm, it, it's always... Your really hairy. <laughs> Your pants well, also look way too small for you. <laughs> yeah, what is up with this? Why aren't I wearing more, you know, fitting clothes? And armor. <laughs> well, no, who needs armor? I'm a real man. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. Uh -oh. <laughs> he accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. What? Should have stopped it with your my face. face? <laughs> Congratulations, Jeff, you stole my joke. Yay. <laughs> he takes you to court. Oh, wow. This Litigation. The best this game. This is America. So do I offer to settle or do I defend myself? I don't think I'm smart enough to defend myself. I'll offer to settle. No amount of coin oh convinces gosh. the unreasonable man to settle. What is this set in America? Yeah, that's exactly what I was I thinking. thought we were in some weird, like, ancient medieval type thing, not Boston. <laughs> the trial does not go well for you, and you are sentenced to perform a community service. Uh-oh. Performing hard labor, you gain one physique and one finesse. Unfortunately, the boring task takes a toll <laughs> on you mentally. So, in other words, my everyday life. <laughs> Except without the menial labor, just the boredom. Yeah. <laughs> you lose one mind. You only have one mind to lose, Nick. Wow, that was... No, I've got a couple stored in the back room. <laughs> Alright, 
Okay. All you just Alrighty. Let's see. Let's go to the, to the hospital. Cat. And let's tend to patients. Are you qualified for this? <laughs> You spent the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. I don't think you're qualified. That's not a question they ask in this game. <laughs> Are you qualified for this? You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day you hear spooky sounds echoing Ooh. through the hospital. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue Ooh. ghost floats down from the ceiling. Why blue? Because if she was red, that'd be weird. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling out horrible noises. <laughs> she doesn't appear to realize that she's freaking everyone out. Yeah, she's a very, very creepy blue ghost. Are you mad, bro? What's wrong? <laughs> you decide to do something about it. Oh god, can you imagine a freaking ghost running around with rage faces on? <laughs> That'd be the most terrifying thing. So I can talk calmly to the ghost or vaporize the ghost with magic. You know, Using your two lowest stats. Yay! <laughs> Can you reason with ghosts? I mean, is that a thing? Let's try to vaporize the ghost with magic. The wave of your hand, you fire off a magic bolt. The bolt passes right through the ghost. Wing. Turns out your magic isn't strong enough to affect incorporeal <laughs> beings. Oh, so darn. Nobody can figure out any other way of getting rid of her. <laughs> Eventually, everybody gets used to her and learns to live with the creepy ghost. That's my way of uh, solving problems. Right? Just learn to live Just, with it. Yeah, passive aggressive. Don't do anything. <laughs> Your mental resolve hardens. Just turn up the stereo. It's creepy ghost. <laughs> uh oh, guys, creepy ghost is here. <laughs> Avert your eyes. <sighs> <laughs> and you gained one mind from this ordeal. It was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook. The air went still. Well, it's just a story. Right? Who cares? Let's party! <laughs> All right. Do you want to party, or do you want to do something else? Oh, hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go to the tavern. Let's see what's going on over there. Let's maybe uh, serve up some drinks. Let's bartend. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. Look at me. From guys. your face, it looks like you've been drinking oh, some of those oh, drinks man. too. Oh, yeah. You earn one wealth in tips and gain two charm. You think I'd earn more in tips if I like? Well, apparently, you don't actually get money. You only get tips. They don't actually pay you a oh, wage. Oh, they don't. No, they don't. If I hadn't buttoned my blouse one there, maybe I would earn a little bit more. Okay. I don't know. Looking at your character, maybe mm. not. They might mistake mm. you for a guy. Uh, hey, the cat ears. Just saying. Hey, okay. Okay. The, wait, the, the cat ears are indicate that you're feminine? Yes, they're feminine. That's okay, why your character so that's doesn't the wear it them. <laughs> exactly. One day while in the tavern, you hear a large commotion outside. Uh-oh, Jeff, what are you doing? Uh, well, obviously, I gotta go check it out. <laughs> go outside. Outside, you see a crowd of angry people carrying torches and pitchforks. Uh oh. Kill the triad, they chant in a sort of synchronized cacophony. This has nothing to do with me. I have no I'm idea what you're sure talking about. I'm pretty sure it does. Mm -hmm. No, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Look. Look, let's just say that every time I reject a woman, which is obviously often. There tends to be a riot of some kind. Yeah, you know, it seems it seems like that's happened to IRL, right? This, this is this is a, a, a warning to all women out there. Do not stay the hell away him. from me. You will you will have a crowd of angry people trying to murder you. Yes. No, this is when I reject them. No, you see, so Jeff, kind of I don't get rejected. Oh, yeah. I don't get rejected. That's just crazy. <laughs> uh, they are all running to the middle of the town. Working your way through the mob, you find a dryad running away. Well, obviously they weren't screaming, kill the dryad with no dryad around. <laughs> you never know, right? This is America. Uh, I was just looking for someone to dance with. <laughs> she sobs. Nothing to do with me. Not my problem. <laughs> you shout at the top of your lungs for the crowd to stop what they're doing. You hear murmurs in the crowd. Soon enough, the crowd disperses. Oh, you got a pet of lungs on you. Yeah. The dryad runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. So many kisses. <laughs> well, this game is very uh, gender neutral, I found. <laughs> and that's very cool. But uh, yeah, lots of kisses. Lots of kisses. You feel energy radiate through your body. Oh, nature. This is going into bad territory. Nature energy. Uh-oh. Am I going to have to, like, censor something? <laughs> yeah. You gain three finesse. Okay, well. So... 
being kissed by a dryad made you more flexible. I'm not going to make any assumptions. You know, just let your mind go there, okay? <laughs> All right, since I have so much physique, I'm going to go to the forest and hunt. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters with a tiny crossbow. Can you can you find anything that's your size? Bear. This looks I can like find it's a, a giant wrist crossbow bear. for you. Yeah, this is like in Diablo 3 when you use the hand crossbows. You gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day you stumble upon a tall, nicely trimmed hedge in the middle of the woods. You sit and eat your lunch in front of the hedge, wondering why, what exactly it's doing out in the woods. <laughs> Suddenly, an enormous hand erupts from the foliage. Oh my lord. Am I gonna get murdered? Dodge it! Punch it! <laughs> pop it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, to anybody who wasn't born in the 80s, they might not get that. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to punch it. Managed to punch the hand so hard that it appears to have shattered one of its fingers. Oh. I just like bro fisted this thing. Yeah, who, who is this? What is and I won. The hand recoils back into the edge. <laughs> you then run away faster than you ever oh, have in your life. Oh, you should have finished your lunch. <laughs> nope, lunch stays. My hedge. Two physique. Oh, you Jeff. All right, let's. So what do you wanna? Do you wanna hmm. work on a stat maybe? Um, let's go and go to the gardens. Let's, mm, let's landscape. Again? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to say I'm working on my dollars. <laughs> you spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day, a toothless old woman approaches you. I lost my day. <laughs> Have a small patch of magic beans. Would you be interested in purchasing them? This sounds familiar. Um, well, I just said I was working on my wealth, so no thanks. I need my dollars. She walks away disappointed. No one will trick Jeff into buying random stuff. There's no such thing as magic beans, you mutter to yourself. You gain one mind. <laughs> the game rewards you for... No, what... It rewards quite, you for everything. Quite the lesson to learn from yourself. <laughs> and then the world was howling fury, chaos, screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Well, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it sounds like a Friday night to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gosh, uh, where have I not been? Let's go to the gardens and let's meditate a little bit. Uh, you spend the week in deep meditation. Gain one magic and two mind. Walking past a pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, miss. Wait, is, the fro is it a dude or a lady frog? Oh, please, miss. Yes. The frog begs. Oh, I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. Frog voices can be different. <laughs> if you could see your way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. I mean, I have been doing a lot of kissing this game. You and got I have a pretty good magic yeah. score. Let's go for it. Let's give him a little peck. You bend down and kiss the frog. Suddenly, the frog is enveloped by a cloud of shimmering fog. Frog fog. Frog fog. <laughs> yes, you found the one frog that explodes into dust when you kiss it. When the fog clears, the frog is gone, and a tall, regal man is standing at the pond instead. Hey. Completely Hello? naked. Is he naked? I don't know. Does it matter? He thanks you for helping him and gives you a handsome reward. You gain two wealth. Hmm. Okay. Wait, is that blanket on the tree what you wore to the Is that the ball? is that did I just, you know, say, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> As word spreads of your deed, your reputation improves. You gain one charm. It did it never um answered the naked question or not. No, it didn't, because it doesn't need <laughs> well, to. Apparently, I mean he had money somewhere. Right? Yeah. To give I, that just makes it worse. <laughs> Alright, so since I've got so much finesse and physique, I'm gonna go to the slums and I'm gonna become Batman. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh look at your <laughs> The best disguise ever. Yeah, you don't I mean I figure most defining attribute weird, weird mutton chops. <laughs> okay, we need a superhero name for me. Mutton chop man. Mutton chop man, uh, let, let's go with something else. Oh, <laughs> That one really sucks. I call I I I say let's go for some trademark. Let's call him Eminem. 
M and M and mutton chops. <laughs> Mustache. Okay, M and M. I am M and M the Crusader. The green M and M. The green M and M. Wait, aren't those the ones that make you horny? Hey, you know, whatever. Maybe that. Maybe that's, that's his reputation that's too. Reputation. Great, great. <laughs> All pants tighten at the sh at the sight of M and M. <laughs> You spend a week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, a man walks up to you. Look, I'm sorry, sir. The t pants tightening thing, not my fault. I can't handle my animal magnetism. Excuse me, sir. Feeling a little lonely tonight. Told you. Wants an autograph. I wants an autograph of my penis. <laughs> For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. Mm. You hand over a and small sack of think coins. About it. Yep. You lose two wealth. All my worldly possessions are yours. On the way to your house, you start to uh, to uh, you start about talking. That's what confused me. Start what the hell? Talking. <laughs> you start talking about philosophy, history, magic, everything. Really, two of you have an amazing conversation that goes well into the morning. Wow. This is like a uh, what's it called? Pretty Woman. This is like yeah, the movie Pretty Woman. Except with two guys, so that makes it like 2014's version of Pretty That's Woman. That's right. Mm -hmm. Updated version. Pretty... Pretty guy. Pretty guy. <laughs> Gain two mind and two charm. Wow. Man apologizes for the lack of sex. Thanks you for the chat. Super sorry. <laughs> you refund to you back half of what you spent. What? what this guy is the most... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I can't find the word, so we'll skip it. Okay. <laughs> so I can't ask. word good. He didn't get... Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so talking is the equivalent of half of sex. I guess so. <laughs> um, good to know for the future. Let's go for the... The alchemy tower. And I would like to clean the lab. Oh, you're so nice. I need that. I need those dollars. <laughs> hey, it's like real life me sticking out his tongue while he's working. <laughs> you spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. Maybe you shouldn't have your tongue stuck <laughs> out then. Yeah. <laughs> you have to taste them to make sure they're all gone. <laughs> you paid one wealth for your labor and gained one physique and one magic. That sounds like something Licking my dad said condoms. when I was cleaning the bathroom. You have to put your tongue uh -huh. out to make sure it's clean. Uh -huh. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his, ho his potion while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. Uh oh. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode! Explosion! How do you know it's not supposed to do that? Yeah, right? We don't know. <laughs> we didn't create this. We don't hmm. have the recipe. Throw it out the window! I like the exclamation points. Out the window! <laughs> Drink it! Um, let's see. <coughs> Either way, yeah, yeah, let's throw it out the window. Toss the potion out the window and watch its contents empty into the town's oh, no. water supply. You either had the best throw ever or the worst. Well, so I'm going to drink it anyways, it looks like. Yep, <laughs> two for one. Quick thinking! You gain one <laughs> mind. <laughs> You're awfully proud of yourself. You take off early for the day hoping nobody <laughs> finds out. You got one mind for that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Well, we totally forgot. Yeah, totes forgot. Yep. Okay. Oh, you uh, kidding? What am I gonna do with my week five and my cute cat ears? Um, I don't think I've gone to the hospital. Let's try that. Uh, let's do a little cleaning since Jeff did some cleaning. Spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital. It looks like you're scrubbing the Making blood sure onto the floor. It is as clean <laughs> as it can be. It does kind of look like that. She wants to add to the ambience. Yeah, I'm, the I'm painting. Hospital. It's a creative, artistic piece. Uh, you gain one mind, one physique, and earn one wealth. Okay, doing pretty good. Over the course of the week, you notice more and more people coming into the hospital with strange deformities. Oh, okay. Uh, one of the doctors determines that these patients <laughs> must be drinking some magically contaminated water somewhere in the slums. Hmm. Jeff, was the potion you threw into the water happened to be made by someone who writes Cthulhu mythos books? Yeah, I was going to say, are we breeding some X-Men here? Hey, What's this is... happening? Hey, I... 
the doctor's week is livened up, I think. I think that it's a positive. Oh, oh it's a, are you going to try to spin it as a positive, are you? Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens. You make a mental note to boil everything before you drink it. You gain one mind. Aha, I'm smarter now. Hey, Hooray for the suffering of others. <laughs> it's exciting. Now we know the slums are full of mutants or something. Yeah, you should go down there, Lamar. Check it out. <laughs> I'll fight more crime then. The green M&M hey, is on the uh, rampage again. Are you again. assuming that the mutants are criminals? <laughs> well, it's either that or pickpocket them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not assuming they're rich. That's true. It's better to go after the ones who are actually criminals than to steal money just from the people who also But now I'm fighting actual super criminals. Week. They're having a really bad week. That would be a bad day. You spend a week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. Over the course of the week, you notice more and more people who seem to be growing extra limbs. <laughs> it's a little disconcerting to see. One day you figure out why. Uh. You notice that while a man is drinking from the rigor, a, the leg growing out of his back gets bigger. It gets bigger. Yuck. Oh, yeah. Mm. Make a mental note never to drink the river water. Well, we're smarter. You gain one mind. Thank Thank hey, you. wait. What, the river water? I thought I poisoned the well. I, I... You poisoned the entire town's yeah, water supply. You threw it from but the like... tower into the river. Now it's everywhere. What are, the, what are the parts per million that this stuff needs to affect people? Apparently not much. Not much. <laughs> um, well, on the same theme, I would like to go to the tavern. You want to poison the beer? I too? would like to drink. <laughs> At least it's not water. You spend the entire week getting wasted. You with your fancy highballs. You gain right two charm and one physique. I love how whichever character does this, it's a completely different like cup. It is a different glass, yeah. We've got them on the wall at the place. <laughs> one day, while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, fists are flying and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Yay, violence! <laughs> Join the fray! Of course. You jump into the thick of the fight and let loose some pent-up rage on some unsuspecting patrons, and hopefully chairs. <laughs> you gain one physique from all oh, that that's exertion. Good workout. Uh oh. The yog. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. But not quite. <laughs> oh, mm, oh, that's looking bad. Is that because you threw the potion into the river? All the swirling. <laughs> is that, is that what yeah, let's blame that. Yeah, that's what I'm. Gonna, I'm not gonna worry about the yog. I'm just gonna. It's airborne it. now. Uh, let's go to the forest and get in there. Uh, and let's... what do I have? I probably should work on my physique, so let's chop some wood. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. Hey, I'm rich. Uh, one day during your forest excursions, you stumble on a swarm of rats. Okay. Are they like giant rats? I'm thinking more like rats? ratatouille, like they're cute, fluffy, not dangerous, not like dishonored rats, you know? A swarm is not a positive thing. You know, you don't yeah, know that for sure. Yeah, a swarm is not a I'm positive I'm definitely thing. thinking dishonored. No, you don't know that for sure. Uh, at first you jump backwards in shock, but then you start to hear them conversing with one another. And you jump further backwards <laughs> in shock. <laughs> She's actually closer to the truth. Uh, they call you over. Oh, it's the ears. They think I'm one hey, of them. Hey. It's the ears. On the, <laughs> no, the, the, they the think cat. you're a cat, and they're yes. going to ambush you and try and kill you. <laughs> no. Uh, excuse me, miss. One of them says in a high-pitched rat voice. Do you think you might be able to help us out with something? You see, we're trying to elect our new leader, but it seems our votes are completely tied. Wow, they're very democratic as well. Uh, we're trying to decide between Seed Paw the Vengeful and Light Tooth the Wise, says the rat. Those are the best choices ever. If they were like on a ballot, I would totally go for one of those. Right? So, oh, so I have to like back one of them and they're going to go with who I'm. Oh, oh, okay. Here, now they're going to give their, their testimonies here. Seed Paw steps forward. If you vote for me, the rats will have a powerful leader. One who isn't afraid to take our fight to the enemy, proclaims Seed Paw. What enemy? Your rats! Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking everything like, is your enemy. Like the owl, like one owl, <laughs> maybe that one owl. Who that one, that one owl. Something. That's no. That's a <laughs> uh, light tooth steps up. If you vote for me, good miss, I will lead these rats into an age of enlightenment. Says light tooth. Oh, that kind of rat sounds... philosophers. Yes, philosophers and scholars. Which rat do you choose? Well, I know which one Jeff would choose. 
Um, you know, I think I want the rats to be less sort of swarmy, more book book knowledgey. So I'm gonna go with Blight Tooth. Half of the rats war with tiny applause. Seedpaw bows his head and walks back into the mass of rats. Sorry, so buddy. The violent one decided to go with the democracy option. Why can't we get that in like real life? Right. <laughs> Light Tooth climbs up to your shoulder and whispers ancient secrets into your ear as a thanks. Ain't the ancient secrets of here's are where these we ancient hide our cheese. Sex secrets that I'm going to share with the king later. Hey, no, you didn't you share heard, any of those. You heard about king. Mentos and <laughs> <laughs> Mentos and Diet Coke. <laughs> you gained one mind and one magic. You're so, like a very well balanced individual. Yes, I think so. That was an interesting encounter. All right, hey. I need I need more burliness, what do you more manliness. Do your last week, okay. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. One day, in the middle of a match, a dryad runs oh, onto the no! field. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm sorry. It's an ex. She's gonna give this happens. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's my ex. <laughs> Would anyone like to dance? Who appears to be asking. Would still dance with her six weeks later? I, Dancing I, means something different in the arena. Okay, so she has asked people. She has been, uh, what, outside the tavern, in the, in the forest, forest and, and in the, the arena. arena. Yeah. Never All once does dance. she think to go to the ball, the where people are actually <laughs> dancing. <laughs> This is true, though maybe she can't get in the front door. <laughs> maybe she doesn't have the blanket well, over yeah, her shoulder. She, she's, it, she can turn into leaves, apparently. Well, that's true. Gusted. Boos and hisses erupt from the crowd. Before you can even react, one of the fighters has already cleaved the dryad in two. That's how I say no. Wait, Bam. so does she have, like, tree rings? Can I count her age? Would it make a difference? Would you, st would you dance with her then? <laughs> well, she's kind of in two parts, so I would guess I would need another partner. Yeah. A terrible shriek booms from the out of the wound. Boom! Um. <laughs> crowd erupts into applause. Yeah. Dryad's corpse then explodes into a yeah, flurry of leaves. Yeah, I was here for murder. Everyone near yeah. <laughs> the leaves cut everybody. Everything is terrible. She used Razor Leaf. She's a fucking Pokemon. <laughs> Don't you know before Gen 3 that move auto crits? You know, I think you dodged. It's unreasonable. I think you dodged the bullet because if she had razor leaves and you tried to dance with her, it wouldn't have gone well for you. Well, if I danced with her, maybe she wouldn't have razor leaf because now I lost one physique. Mm. <laughs> okay, your last Let's week. Let's see. I think there's one more week actually. Hmm. I'm not hmm. sure. Hmm. I would like to yes go to the palace. Get your dance on. Do some admin work. Oh, or not. Spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. Paid two wealth and gained one mind. Good for you. One day, a grand carriage arrives at the palace from which a tall, <gasps> regal man emerges. The same tall, regal man th that was the frog that I kissed? Hopefully he's less naked this is time. Is he less naked? I don't know. He says that he is the true king. Oh, no. Recently freed from a curse placed on him by his wicked half-brother. His wicked half brother is that the same king? Who's that, not good in you know, bed? Not good in bed, because that rumor's all around town now. The man challenges the king to a duel for the throne. Oh no, this is getting. Oof. This is getting intense. Um. So, do you support the guy who needs Viagra, or do you support the naked dude? The na naked wordy guy. Hmm. This is a hard decision I mean, because is. the current king has been paying me for all this admin work. <laughs> He's your boss. But he's also been making me do admin work. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's how everybody feels about their boss. So I'm going to go with a stranger, actually. Yeah, yeah. You decide to act as the stranger's second. As the fight is beginning, you notice a strange glow on the king's Ooh, sword. Ooh, orcs. There are orcs nearby. Is that a euphemism? Are you cheating? An illegal <laughs> enchantment. <laughs> Foul. Foul. <laughs> Is that how you protest? Yes. You just shout foul and point foul. at him? <laughs> He's gonna give him a new unenchanted sword, and the stranger easily defeats him. Poor king. So what was the enchantment? Like, plus one, plus two? Well, it wasn't plus to sex, we know that. <laughs> no, that's for his other sword. The new king, grateful for your assistance, gives you a huge pouch of coins. Does that mean I get to be queen? You gain three wealth. Wow, three wealth. 
I don't know if a kiss counts as a marriage proposal. Mm. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning it still rages. For three full days the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our homes have become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Dun dun dun! Oh, that's bad. Is all that water contaminated now? Yeah. yeah. Probably. <laughs> Everybody gets deformity. <laughs> you get a limb. You get a limb. Everybody you get five. Okay, so now I get to choose. Yep. I sort of roll in helping the town rebuild. Yep. So based on my stats, I've got lots of magic and charm and mind. His mind is the best. So maybe... The doctor? Or you want to be the doctor? The leader, maybe? Because I've got charm and smarts. Well, which one? Build leader or doctor? Um, oh, let's go with the leader. Why not? It's probably going to go horribly wrong. You take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You just have that permanent blush on your face. Yeah, it's, it's called alcohol. Or sunburn. <laughs> or sunburn, or both. You effectively delegate and prioritize tasks. You even sacrificed your cat hat. The weird horns yeah, on the hat right. actually leave a, an interesting, like, part unsunburned on her face. <laughs> yeah, that's the shade. <laughs> <laughs> you give a lot of pats on the back, rewarding everyone. For, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This helps the rebuilding effort a lot. All right. Need those pats on the back. Yeah. All right. So the only thing I'm good at is beating things up and doing it very quickly, and outsmarting them, so I'm a superhero. <laughs> I think with there isn't a superhero option. You could probably do be the builder and build all the, the houses back with all your buffness. <laughs> Punch some nails and your into tiny, some walls. Your tiny axe. But I'm afraid that if whatever job I do, women are just going to keep throwing themselves at me and die in arenas. You know, that's going to happen no matter what you do. Yeah. Right? You just... Fair point. And they're dying already anyways, like right now. Like in, in the maybe, water. Maybe go help. Like, you could be the doctor. Maybe go help, at, like, the already mortally injured. Like, the people who are, like, crushed under things and dying. Just go over to them and then they can, like, die sooner. <laughs> Because you go I, over. I think, so. I'll, I think I'll build things. <laughs> Only if they're female. You take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. What? No, I had like the male prostitute wrapped around my pinky. Yeah. It doesn't matter who they are. They all want me. <laughs> you rebuild homes at breakneck speed, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Except awesome. for the ones who are shamed because they're not doing so great compared to you. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, everybody has a lower self-esteem now. I would like to be the smelter. You set this up. <laughs> you volunteer to smelt your now useless coins into building materials. You have a lot of coins. I'm going to make buildings out of gold. Yeah. Useless, useless gold. <laughs> the best houses. <laughs> your former riches provide a wealth of metal for survivors to build with. This reminds me of a D&D campaign setting where they used, like, weird metal for their coins because gold was dumb. Mm. This helps the survival effort immensely. Oh, immensely. Look at you. You lose a lot of money in the process, though. It's worthless, they said, right? You lose three wealth. Only three? You lose another <laughs> three wealth. So six wealth. Oh, all that's of a great. I know. I like yeah, that. I like that apparently I decided to keep about half of my money. Yeah. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> Useless money. Yay. I'm going to go swim in it. All right. And so we set about our tasks one more, once more living our lives. This time in a way we may never have, might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end... What do we do? Fingers crossed! We Yay! flourished. Towers once wrecked and ravaged rose towards the sky. Trees again took root, then blossomed. We all blossomed. And though it took a long while, and though it took a lot from us, our future is bright. Should the Yogg ever return, you will be ready. Yay! Best ending! Yeah. Yay! But does it tell us like what happened to us? I don't know. Does it give us Does a, little, it? a little epilogue here? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, here's me. Oh, I got my hat back. Everybody, stop re freaking out. Still got some red face got going on. Pink tree here. Look at that. With the town rebuilt, you go to the hospital to retake your role as Custo. What? How glamorous. That's what I do after surviving the yog. Your job is glamorous. <laughs> 
but you make it better by poking fun at the doctors with witty one-liners. Nah, we gotta make it make it work. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the janitor from Scrubs? <laughs> yes, yes, and I am damn proud of it. <laughs> they, all, they often have a clever retort to your jokes, and the back and forth is well-paced and punchy. <laughs> And it's recorded for studio audiences. <laughs> One day a patient, also a playwright, oh, asks for permission to write a play about your life. Because we all know the janitor was the main character. Yes. You happily accept. The play becomes an instant hit and Royalties? you become a celebrity for a brief moment in time. <laughs> you still clean up blood and vomit for a living, however. Oh, well. That sounds about right. And that's why I didn't become a nurse. <laughs> Well, look at you trying to peep into my window. What are you doing? Your window's closed. <laughs> for this now. It, with the town rebuilt, you decide to become a full-time arena warrior. That sounds good. You slowly rise the rank, knocking out scores of fighters. Even ones as great as Jean the Beautiful. Jean. Before long, you are, will become arena champion. The only reason why I said Jean and not Jean is because I have a friend who's obsessed with uh, Attack on Titan. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, okay. And obsessed with Jean Marco. So it's is, Jean. Is the arena champion now. like the gym leader in Pokemon? People have to go beat you up to get their badge? Yes, for only when they throw Pokemon at me. I, city? When, when they throw Pokemon at me, I stomp on them and go punch them in the face. Before long, you become the arena champion. You travel across the world, fighting the very best of the best. Tales are sung far and wide of your mighty feats of strength. Wow. And my funny hat. And you're funny. Yeah, totally. Travel Not about work. your superhero-ness, though. With the town rebuilt, you start a topiary design firm. What? I'm, what? I'm, I spent so long landscaping, apparently. You did. You charge top dollar <laughs> for high-end designs of shrubs and hedges. You're the uh, landscaper to the stars. Mm. You really are. People from all across the land seek out your expertise in all things gardening related. You did garden co- quite a few weeks. You're even named Time, Time Magazine. <laughs> oh, God. Most important person of the year at one point. At one point of the year? For yeah, for one day of the year. One time of the year. You live the rest of your days out comfortably. That comfy linen shirt. Look at that. I'm the only one who had glamour. Whatever. You, you had were... the most boring endings ever. Hey, whatever. She was in the tower. I was in the house. And you were sitting on top of my house. I was sitting on top of your house because I had an arena appointment to get to. <laughs> where afterwards, Somewhere out the green the M&M was going to go and save the world. I just fought Galactus a few times. No big deal. All right, so... That's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you folks next time. Bye!